Hello friends, in this video we are going to explore one new SEO plugin called Rank Math. I know most of the people are using US, which is the really good plugin, but the only problem is that to get the best out of US, you have to get the premium version, which is really expensive. So Rank Math offers all the premium feature of US in the free version. So we're going to explore how to install the Rank Math and what are the settings that you should apply to get the best out of Rank Math. So let me go to my WordPress dashboard and let me show you how to install and do the settings. So Rank Math is really a new plugin and which is competing with Worst. So it has a lot of potential and I already have seen uh, so many articles that bloggers have written and many pro bloggers are using Rank Math nowadays. So it is a really good plugin. So let me go to plugins and go for add new. Here let me search for rank math. One more thing like I'm going to make one more video to compare rank math uh, with OST. In this video we will only show how to install and how to do the settings. So let me click on install. And activate. Once you click on activate, if you have Yoast or any other plugin like All-in-One SU or any SU plugin, so it will get deactivated automatically. So let me click on active. So here you have to create one account and rank my website to access all the features so let me create an account for that let me go to rankmath.com let me click on sign in and let me go for register and let me register all right let me click so give the email id and they will send the password to the email id so let me see that so I got the password and click on activate rank math. So it is showing that your website is compatible to run rank math. So it's a good thing. Let me go to start wizard. Since I was having the US SEO so rank math is asking to import all the data like uh, meta title meta description or open graph data so each and everything rank math will import from your SEO, which is really good thing if you are moving from us to rank math so let me click on start import it might take about 10 seconds or 15 seconds to import all the data now let me go to continue <coughs> so here you have to decide uh, about your blog so my blog is a personal blog you have to upload a file for google so the recommended size is 1920 by 1080 right now i'm not having that file size so i'm going to upload my default logo So here is the logo I'm going to use that and for social share 
I have to upload one more logo. I'm going to use the same logo here also. All right, then click on save and continue. Here you have to give your Google Search Console authorization. That's the same like how we do in the Yoast. So let me do that. Let me click on get authorization code. So I got the code, let me copy that and paste it here. Once you paste it, it will automatically authorize that. And that is a site for which I want the analytics to be integrated with the rank math. If everything is good, then click on save and continue. Here there are a couple of settings that uh, you can set it right now like if you want sitemap which is really required. So it is by default on. Include images. If you want to include the images, you can keep it on. Now if you want to include the post and pages in the sitemap that you can click it here. If you want to include the categories in the sitemap, then you can click here. I'll prefer not to include the categories in the sitemap so let me deselect that now click save and continue so here are some optimization settings so no index empty category yeah should be uh, on no follow image file link should be on no full external links should be on and strip category page should be on and that should be also on so in this page all should be on then click on save and continue so it is saying like my site is ready here are the options if you want to auto update the plugin or you want to show your SEO score to your visitors like in the post or page you can click here I'll prefer not to do that. Here it will show you a few score. So my score is about 82. So I have to see that uh, what are things I have to do to make it 100. So we are done with the basic setting. Now let me go to the setup of advanced settings. All right. So <coughs> here you have the 404 monitor so if you have deleted some post and you're getting a 404 page so to monitor that you can uh, click it on i'll prefer to make it on then the option for redirection if the page is not found then where it should go it should go to home page or it should go to um, other page so you can click it here for the time being i'll click it off let me click on save and continue then the most important part is the rich snippet you should always keep it on and uh, for the rich snippet snipe uh, you can keep it article so all those things whatever the by default is showing you just keep it as it is and then click on save and continue all right so i am in the uh, dashboard of rank math so here 404 i have clicked yes if you have mp plugin you can click yes then the link counter or make sure it is on here if you want to go for local su then you can go for on redirection if you want then you can make it on so these are settings that i usually use for my website for your requirement the settings might be different and what you want to switch it on or off based on requirement all right so this snippet should be on role manager uh, like if you have multiple authors who is writing for your blog then you can keep it on otherwise keep it off search console i'll keep it on 
SV analysis, I'll keep it on. Sitemap is on OCommerce, so I don't need that. So let it let me keep it off. So the dashboard looks pretty good. Now let me go to general settings. So here again, like uh, in the initial wizard, we have uh, kept couple of settings so in this page you'll get all in detail like strip category page I'll keep it on uh, attachment redirect I have to keep it on so remove stop words from permalink you can keep it off what it does like if you write a uh, link or you write a write a title like uh, uh, all with all the stop words like a and the so this uh, plugin will remove all the stop words so that you can rank high in Google uh, Google search. But I'll prefer to do it manually, so I'll keep it off. This links already I, I had kept it on in the first wizard. And if you want to keep any domain as a no follow, then you can keep it here. So everything looks good. Let go, me go for save changes. then for the images if you want to add, if you want uh, rank math to add automatically the alt attributes for you when you upload the picture you can keep it on but uh, i'll prefer to do it uh, manually so i'll keep it off same thing for uh, the second one then coming to breadcrumbs so this is required so i'll keep it on what kind of separator you want that you can click here and these are all some basic settings that you might have seen in Yoast also so all right I'll go for save changes then for the webmaster tool I know uh, since you have imported data from Yoast, so it is already copied all the information from Yoast, like Google Search Console data, Bing Webmaster, and other things. So that's fine. Let me go to edit robot.txt. So if you're confident about editing the robots file, so you can edit it here. The same rule applies for .htaccess file. If you are knowing like what you are doing, then you can modify the file here. Here, if you are, if you want rank man to track how you are performing, then you can uh, go for uh, the tracking. I'll keep it off. I don't want auto update, so I'll keep it off. Uh, I don't want to show the issues code to all the people, so I'll keep it off. So these are the basic things. Let me click on save changes. <coughs> now the next is four zero four monitor. So I'll keep it simple. <coughs> so follow all the basic settings. Search console again we did uh, in the wizard. So let me get, keep it as it is. <coughs> then redirection. So default four zero four. I'm keeping auto post redirect, which is a really a good uh, command. You know what happened that if you publish an article and after some days you uh, change the link which is called snugging so if you change the link it will give a 404 error if you click it on whatever post <coughs> for which you change the title oh sorry uh, you change the link it will automatically redirect the new article so I'll keep it on then titles and matter <coughs> these are all uh, general things like how we do in Yoast so don't change anything here local SEO if you want you can do that you have to give your email address then uh, the about uh, page and the contact us page so I'll uh, you can do it later so I'll keep it as it is right now social meta is really important like if you want to share your um, post in social media how it looks like 
what will be the meta description what will be the meta title so you can define it here <coughs> So you have to give all your information like Facebook page URL, uh, the admin name, <coughs> again the same for Twitter, Instagram, all those things. So these are all basic things. So home page, meta title and description, you can go to the home page and you can do it there. So for the post form format archives, so um, these are again uh, same like the worst. Others, if you want, uh, like me to uh, give all the information to Google, you can keep it enable, but I'll keep it disabled because I'm I'm the only other. <coughs> then, in the miscellaneous pages. So keep it everything as it is. If you don't want the paginated pages, like you know, you might be having like page one, page two, page three. So if you want uh, rank me to give all the information to Google about the pages, you can keep it off. Otherwise, keep it on. So I prefer to keep it on. All right, and in the post type again just keep it uh, the default one same goes for the pages and the media same goes for the categories and tags so uh, for the post pages media categories and tags don't change anything if you're not sure what you are doing the rank math has the default setting which is really good so just keep it as it is so the sitemap settings again like how many links you want to include in sitemap so by default 200 if you have more articles you can make a 300 400 whatever number you have you want to include the images in the sitemap you can click yes or if you want to include the featured images uh, you can uh, click it on so again i'll go with the default settings this is very important ping search engine so if you want to ping search engine about the sitemap that you updated so which is by table should be yes so i'll go by the default settings again the same thing like how i did uh, for the other settings i'll go by the default settings all right <coughs> the 404 monitor so in the 404 monitor there is nothing because I don't have any 404 uh, issues then let me go to redirection <laughs> here also there is nothing that I have to tell here then search console these are a few uh, command that uh, rank math is planning to include like for the sitemap it is showing here but for the keyword tracker like how we are doing in google keyword tracker so they are saying it is coming soon so they say like sitemap like you can see like two sitemaps got generated automatically right now you can go to seo analysis and you can check how much uh, the SEO score for your site load let me click on start so as you can see like I scored about 87 so there are a couple of things that I failed there are a couple of warnings so I have to fix those so whatever the cross mark that I have to fix it all right so you can go to status and tools and see like you know the database parameters the rank mid version all those things and in the import export you can import the metadata from yours to other plugins or you can export the rank mid data to other plugins 
So friends, as you have seen that it has so many options compared to yours, it has a lot of options. In fact, I took a full day to understand all the options and make a video on that. So whatever settings I, I have said, that is couple of things are default and couple of things I have done as per my requirement. So this is the best uh, thing, uh, best setting that I apply for my website. For your website, this might be a little bit different, but more or less it would be same okay so that's all in this video hope you like the video if you got some knowledge about rank math from this video then please like the video and please share the video thanks for watching